Well, Michael, I'm live here at Senior Action in Greenville, which holds programs for senior citizens on how to avoid being scammed. Frances Knight is encouraging people to know the red flags so the same thing that happened to her won't happen to others. This was my granddad and grandmother's. Frances Knight is friendly by nature. And that warm, inviting smile is what may have gotten her into trouble Tuesday at her Honeyapath home. Uh, he said, come on and go with me up to the back. Well, here I go. I left my door open. Knight says a man came to her door asking to look at her property lines because he knew someone who wanted to build next door. I should have known better. But, you know, you do these things and you don't realize. She says after about five minutes in the backyard with the man, she mentioned that she had to go inside because she had food on the stove. He said no. Well, I knew then what had happened. As night was coming inside, she says she saw a woman inside the man's truck. By the time she realized her purse had been emptied, it was too late. The truck was gone. It came to my mind. I said, while you were up there, she was in your house. Knight says she feels she was targeted because of her age. Us older people, we don't realize. We're, we're still trying to think, oh, it's back like it used to be, and it's not. Now she has a message for others. Anybody that's elder that's watching this, please, I mean, if people come to your door and don't open, if you don't know them, ask through the door, say, who are you? This is the second time Knight was robbed. She says two and a half years ago, she came home to her door pushed in and her electronics and jewelry gone. It, it does something to you. I mean, you just don't ever get over it. Now, Honey, Honey Path Police are investigating. Meanwhile, export, experts are warning older people to not answer the door if they don't know somebody and to question somebody who's calling them. Liz Lohe, WYFF News 4, live in Greenville.